Hey, it's Julia Pace and you're watching Fade to Black on 24 Wire TV. I'm born and raised in Los Angeles, California, in Baldwin Hills, California. <laughs> my parents were both actors, like my mom totally did acting in the 70s and all those black exploitation films and things like that. And my father, my biological father was an actor too. And then my stepfather was a baseball player, but he used to be like, oh, I got to put on my costume and go to work. So it's kind of a family, you know, business. That's what I knew how to do was act. So I was doing shows on the table with my grandmother tap dancing when I was like seven, you know, come see my show in the backyard. So it was just kind of in my blood to, you know, follow the path. My experience on The Young and the Restless has been life changing. I went from, you know, doing theater in New York and playing, you know, hooker number two or <laughs> sword swinger number seven in a Shakespeare play in Oregon to Notorious where I play Biggie Baby Mama to playing the chief financial officer of a biofuels company on daytime television, which I never thought in a million years that would happen to me. It's just my presence being dark skinned, full figured, you know, not a typical soap star. And somebody at CBS took a chance and the fans wrote tons of letters and they love it. And they kept my character, character on, I'm now there for two years. One of the most exciting experiences being on set is you get to make out a lot <laughs> in daytime television. I'm not saying it's like soft porn, but <laughs> I'm really glad that I get to, you know, be sexy and smart and funny and witty and quirky in daytime. I never thought in a million years that would be the path, but Christoph St. John, who plays Neil Winters, who's been on the show for a long time, Darius McCrary was my husband on the show, Tatiana Ali is on the show, Brighton is on the show, From so it's a, a lot of history and I'm learning while I'm there. I think right now, the state of black Hollywood for women. It's, everyone says, oh, it's so bad, it's so bad, but I think it's changing slowly because I think we're starting to empower ourselves. We're not waiting anymore for people to give us the job. We're taking things into our own hand. I think more people are starting to write and it's hard to get things produced, but I don't think people are letting that stop them. I have to believe that. I have to believe that we're gonna continue to push through and that black women's stories are gonna be able to get told, but we have to support each other and not fight with each other, not just compete like crabs in a barrel, but really put the support behind one person at a time and get through, that's what I think. In black television sometimes, you know, it is marginalized. And I think some of the most frustrating things is that we're, we even, I hate to, you know, dog people out, I'm not going to, but I think we pigeonhole ourselves sometimes. Like we need to support a broader range of things, like I said before. I don't like watching shows where I don't see a vision of myself. So if everybody is the same color tan, or if all the dark skinned girls are mean, like <laughs> we still the same stereotypes. And that's frustrating to me as an actress who I, I love doing comedy. I love, I'm goofy. I trip and fall, but we don't get the, I know how to do that. I studied, you know, the classics and, you know, Pratt Falls and being goofy like, you know, Cara Burnett, but we don't see black women in that light. You know, Girlfriends, I think was the last time we had something where we got lots of different kinds of women represented, but we're still really marginalized which is kind of sad if you're a trained actor or performer and you want to be able to be all of those things. You have to get your sassy 101 down and oh no, you didn't down, you know, but that frustrates me. <laughs> I would say the best advice from my experience is to study. Study your craft and have fun and don't do it unless you can't do anything else <laughs> because it's hard, but if you love it, Start with something deep inside that you know, no matter what anybody tells you, that you know you're good at what you do. It might seem like being cocky, but the same way like an athlete who's really good at his three point, he's like, I can do this all day, you know? So as an actress, I know I can pick up a script and I can do that all day.